Again, some of these appear in the brochure. If you go onto our website, you'll see many more proposals already uh, for events to be either badged with our Year of Environments logo uh, or brand new initiatives that colleagues are developing. Uh, this month, there are, apart from today, there are some local launches being developed. There's a major NHS conference on health and well-being. There's a brand new Forest School Award that we'll hear about this afternoon in a minute. Uh, there's the launch of a brand new Liverpool City Region Nature Challenge. Several new health walks are being launched. That's all this month. And over the next few months, there are some university seminars and debates are being planned. There are number of discussions going on for other events. We'll have the Echo Environment Award coming up soon. The Lip River Festival, of course, will be a great focus for all things to do with water and the environment. Later in the year, there's going to be a major interfaith eco summit, which I think will be an exciting and important event. Uh, we hope the combined authority later in the year will uh, have a major green summit, uh, looking at what we've achieved, what are the challenges for the following year. And, um, what I hope we'll also have uh, is a number of detailed local community actions, actions to improve walking and cycling and uh, public transport usage, much more recycling, fewer emissions, more people involved in conservation, more forest school activity, uh, and so forth. We want to encourage those to take place at community level, and um, I'm very confident that more and more people will get involved in that with your support for the people to be involved in those small actions that across the region can really make such a huge difference. So after today, I, I think there'll be a flowering of events, debates, uh, discussions, conversations, awards. Uh, so I really hope you'll encourage your colleagues to really get involved. Um, it was very encouraging. We had our recent partnership meeting this week and one of the partners said, working on the year was unleashing a burst of energy and passion amongst her members. She really said that, I was delighted to hear that. Um, and we are seeing real enthusiasm building up across the whole city region, some great collaborations across uh, the six authorities and across the different sectors that are engaged in the year. So I very much hope we're gonna end up with a very full year, an interesting year, a diverse year, a challenging year, but I hope one that can be very, very positive for the combined authority and for all our citizens. Thank you. Thanks, Gideon. It shows you what happens, doesn't it, when you get six local authorities all want to work together and um, the programme of events, what you've just outlined there is only a teaser, isn't it, to some of the long-term things that are going to happen. You know, the 50 million trees, for instance, that are going to connect Liverpool to Hull, there's lots and lots of other very, very large things, but also very local issues as well and uh, we're going to um, at the next opportunity announce what we're doing as a combined authority um, in here that will also help towards achieving our targets for the year environment. Um, can we agree the recommendations set out on page 229 of the report please? Okay, we have had um, a question um, from Mr. Ted Grant, unfortunately, Mr. Grant can't attend today's meeting, so the monitoring officer is going to read the question out on his behalf. Thank you. Mr. Grant's question is, will the Liverpool City Region Metro Mayor follow the example of Greater Manchester and commit to banning fracking in the region in order to tackle the threat of climate change? Um, unfortunately, he can't be here, but obviously, um, to first of all, kind of hint the question that's been posed to us. It's a really important issue for everybody in the Liverpool City region, and of course, far beyond. I think it's a, an issue that, as a country, we need to start to address. Um, but as a city region, we're blessed with some of the most unique natural assets, including the river and coastline that Gideon just referred to which gives us the potential to be the cleanest and the greenest city region in the whole country. The UK, uh, the UK government has agreed some national targets to reduce carbon levels, that's by 80% uh, by 2020, 2050 it is, compared to 1990 levels. Um, we want to go further than that. Our ambition in the Liverpool city region is to be carbon neutral by 2040, and that's part of all the documentation that we've produced. 
So many current work programmes by the combined authority, and Liam's mentioned a few of them uh, earlier, will make a positive contribution to those carbon reduction targets and tackle climate change. And that's without even really going into detail about some of the great things that we're doing. The development of the Mersey Tidal project, for instance, with our commission. Um, not only that, but we're supporting uh, wind and solar power and exploiting the potential of hydrogen engines. Hopefully people saw that fantastic announcement by Alstom um, in our city region, in Halton, thinking about manufacturing hydrogen trains. Just unbelievable to think that where we are. And also we are looking to reduce emissions from buses and the new ferries. So all of these energy projects, I believe, will provide us with the clean green energy, both electricity and gas, which will mean that as a city region, we actually don't need to frack. What's the point if we've got so many natural assets? Unfortunately, because fracking is largely a national planning matter, too often the final decision, as we know, relating to applications is taken out of the hands of local communities, Lancashire, anybody, and local elected representatives and decided by government appointed inspectors now, in the Greater Manchester Spatial Framework, they've set out um, that, like us, they also believe that they don't need fracking to achieve a carbon neutral city region. The combined authorities' position will be further deployed as we continue to work on our spatial development strategy and its associated evidence base. But as a matter of mayor, I've made it abundantly clear my complete opposition to fracking, um, and it will not form part of any of my plans for the future and hopefully uh, if um, selected um, my future manifesto for the city region. But I want again to thank the questioner for the question. I think it's something that we needed to start to address anyway. Um, what we'll do is, as normal, we will produce a full and detailed response within 10 days and that will be posted on our website as well. Um, item 13 is that we have not received any petitions or statements for this meeting, so we go on to 14, which is the minutes of the Transport Committee held on the 13th of December, and can we confirm those minutes, please? Um, now, the next meeting of the Combined Authority is going to be the Budget Meeting, and that's going to be on the 1st of, the, of February, which is Friday the 1st at 1pm, so just to make a note of that, and, and guys, it's the Budget Meeting. Um, but with that said, I'll declare the meeting closed and thank everybody for their attendance.